My name's Robert Gordon. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm here with a film called Very Extremely Dangerous, which is about a guy who recorded a record for Sun Records in 1959, decided he preferred the shadows to the spotlight, wanted to steal people's wallets instead of their hearts, became a career criminal, three terms in in penitentiaries under two different names. Uh, when he got out uh, recently, he put his name in this new thing called the internet. And by doing that, he found his teenage, his, his girlfriend from his teenage years. He found my filmmaking partner and I, me. And he also found out that he had lung cancer. And so our film follows this uh, bad man on what he thinks is his last days. One, when, so one, one great reaction we've had to this film was that it's like seeing Grey Gardens for the first time because what happens next is nothing you can, ex an, an, you can anticipate. And so the whole filmmaking process was that way. We never, we thought we were making a film about his medical condition as much as anything and it turned out not to be that at all. Every, everything was a surprise for us as it is for the viewer. People should see the film because one, it's a great sample, a great example of uh, verite filmmaking, um, and because uh, it ends up being about oddly, uh, after you endure this kind of brutal 81 minutes, the last four minutes turn out to be about the capacity of the human heart for love. This is my first time at the Maryland Film Festival, though not my first time in Baltimore. First time back here in about 10 years. Very uh, glad that 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 uh, that that Eric Hatch and the and Skiz liked our film and brought it up here. Very very pleased to have the opportunity to show it. It, it affirms the uh, the axis of eccentricity between uh, Baltimore, Memphis, and New Orleans.